And we are finally on the final world. And according to uh, TV Tropes, uh, a lot of people consider World 8-1 uh, that one level because it's so a a abominably long and uh, full of obstacles and traps. But in reality, it's actually just kind of a repeat of, I think, what was it? Yeah. World 2-2 two, two, or World 3-2, where it's just a long string of just minor obstacles with a whole bunch of enemies. And that's pretty much it. It's just taken to the nth degree with the length of the level. Nice. So I'm, oh, I'm doing pretty good. See, that's this is I think the only level that actually has huge gaps, uh, like massive, massive gaps. Oh look, the cute little owls. Goombas. Goombas. I swear. <laughs> People laughing about this. I... On the bright side, oh, oh, that's probably the tricky. That's the that was probably the trickiest jump in the entire game, right there, possibly. Yeah. Um. Oh, and this too. Oh, this too. This is evil. Having one space wide. Oh, okay. Oh, forget it. I don't care about the five thousand. I'm just. Wow, that was my first try. <laughs> Take that. Wow, you got fireworks on a hundred. Mm-hmm. We gotta figure that out. Okay, this level sucks. This level... Oh, look, it's Laluki or whatever. Lakitu. Lakitu. Okay, or this... Lucky, whatever, the, the trickster god of the, the Norse. Yep. Okay, this level to me is that one level. Forget 8-1 and everybody else's opinion. To me, this is that one level. Whoa, whoa. See what I'm talking about? You don't know when they're going to fire. You just have no idea. You don't know. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I... I, Ooh, that was close. I am stand corrected. That was the trickiest jump. <laughs> Whoa, oh, don't you get me owls. owls. Dang it, you got me calling them. Oh, yeah! Ah, you got me calling them owls. Gosh darn it, I am ashamed. I am ashamed. And, and you know what the sad thing is? I'm my so sorry, mom, Goombas. My mom once said that Mario's name was Mr. Kapow. That is so wrong. That is so wrong. But I, I mean, it's funny. <laughs> even people who never play games know who Mario is. I've never played this game. Who yeah, Mario you know was. who Mario is. And then yeah. she tries to tell my son, like, "Hey, do you want uh, 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 Mr. Kapow?" And I'm like, "Really?" I, I like looked at her, and I'm just like, "Wow, that okay?" I, I'm not gonna speak to you for the rest of the day. And you know what? She was really upset that you didn't do that. That you literally went and did not talk to her for the rest of the day. I'm just like, said, yeah. you, you have just insulted my childhood. <laughs> yeah, but problem is, oh, oh. it's really hard. Ooh. I, think, oh. I think that that was be the most difficult one to jump. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. That was my first try. Oh, yeah. Woo! No outtakes on this one. Woohoo! Oh. You'd think with all those problems that I'd actually have an outtake or something on that level, but was, nope. You, you were focusing on my mom calling Mario Mr. Kabat. I know, my furious anger made me get through just fine. This is our third and final... Of course you did get over it. Yeah, I did. I look white owls. Yep, this is our third and final maze level, but it's a little bit different in that you have to take pipes. And the pipes, if you take the wrong one, will send you back to the start. And if you don't take any pipes at all, you'll just loop, loop back around. But there's a trick... There's a trick to figuring out... Oh, oh, come on, really? Ah, there's a trick to figuring out which pipe you need to take. And if you haven't figured it out by now, you take the next pipe immediately after the repurposed water. Ooh, that was close. See? Repurposed water. So this is going to be the next pipe I need to take. And if you follow that logic for the entire level, you will never take the wrong pipe. Ever. I thought there wasn't going to be any more water scenes. There isn't. Not a full level of it. Oh, oh, oh. This is just, a, this is just a brief segment. Oh, okay. It's just kind of like, Bleh? what? What nonsense is this? Oh, look, the squids are trying to play. Uh, how do you have fire in water? I don't want to know. It's, it was the 1980s, so whatever. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, the sparkles. They're hammers. And with that, we have finished the game. And I have succeeded in the challenge. That is Princess Toadstool, at least in the American original translation, but it's actually Princess Peach. But uh, they messed up on translating, and it became Toadstool for whatever reason. And my goodness, she's abnormally large compared to Mario.
But we are finished. Aren't they supposed to be the, like they get married or something? Uh, no, it's always it's always teased up and never happened. But that is the end of this uh, play series. Thank you for <laughs> joining us, and we will see you on the next one. So enjoy the outtakes and our commentary as we look over my stupidity. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Well, yeah. 8-2. This is why... Right, let's just jump off. Yeah, let's just jump off. This... Uh, if you, if the multitude of... Bye. ...of outtakes doesn't cue you in, this became that one level for me. For real. Wow. It was let's worse... Just jump off the cliff. Yeah, this was worse than World 6-3. By far. 8-2 gave me more problems. I mean, it got to the point oh, where... Look, a beetle killed you. Yeah, my, wi my wife can actually attest... I, it got to the point that I started cussing, and I don't usually do that, and... Oh my goodness, you're really going after those bullets and you're trying to be killed by bugs. Yes, and so that was kind of a shock to her, but you know, I I was very frustrated after my uh, 15th to 20th death, and I'm like, this shouldn't really be that hard. <laughs> um, wow, bye Beetle, I mean, bye Mario. But I'm just glad I got, I got, oh gosh, that was so bad. <laughs> That was a backwards fly. I'm like, oh gosh, wow. run away! I'll take this, this pit. I'll, t I'll take this pit over that. <laughs> <laughs> over that bullet. Uh, over that turtle. Whatever. Wow. <sighs> there's some. There's some ridiculous ones. Let me tell you. And I think I missed that jump on one of my outtakes. You'll see it, I'm sure, soon enough. <sighs> you mean that one? No, no, no. The the big long jump I do. Oh uh, well, the owl killed you. Goomba! Goomba! Gosh darn it, Goomba! <laughs> wow, see? He's got a slide. He's got a very bad slide that you really gotta take into account. There's the bullet. Oh my goodness. What is the song called? Um, put a bullet in my heart? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I think this is the one. Yep, there it is! Wow! I, apparently I pressed the jump on it and then the game's just like... Uh, I don't... I was like... And the game's just like, no. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom, boom! Oh, drop dead. Wow, run right into the bullet. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> I jumped right into him. Yeah, poor owl. So, I mean, how many yeah. outtakes is this going to take? Nobody knows. We're just going to keep showing these <laughs> <laughs> until we run out of outtakes. Oh, that was the last one. Okay, uh, now we're getting into, yeah. Now wow. we're getting into the Fortress one. We had no outtakes for the 8-1 and 8-3, which is amazing, <laughs> actually. Guy. Amazing. There's the red guy. Ah. <sighs> I don't think I made that mistake. Oh, yep. And the, the water se yep, the water section had to catch me at least once, I'm sure. Yeah, you know those uh <laughs> those squid were looking at you like mm, food. Yep, and that Hammer Brothers, they um, placed them there so evilly. They're just like, uh, what? Yeah. Um, red guy. Yep, that first pit was bound to get me at least on one of these outtakes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was going to happen. <laughs> Some of these are just so ridiculous. His foot caught you. He crushed me with his foot. <laughs> wow. You didn't get caught by a flying fish. Wow. He touched me with his hands and I was... Anyway, but yeah, this will be the last one. And uh, see you later. Super Mario Brothers is a fun, classic game that holds up even today, despite being simplistic. Its accessibility and limited complexity only add to its charm. I feel, because of this, it is open to a wide variety of challenges. I have seen dozens of challenges for this game, ranging from perfect runs, no coin runs, pacifist runs, and more. I did a combination of no hit runs with no coin runs, but clearly, I was not skilled enough to achieve zero coins. So I modified it slightly so that I never made it to 100 coins, which is actually quite easy to do in this game. Apparently, the majority of coins found in this game are in hidden pipe segments, far off the beaten path of the main stage levels. I didn't really have too much challenge beating this game with the given restrictions. Sure, there was that difficulty spike of World 6-3, but that was nothing compared to the 1-2 punch of Worlds 8-2 and 8-4. Wow. World 8-2 quickly became that one level for me. So much so that I, I had to actually stop playing for a good bit before coming back to finish it. I seriously got that mad at the game. Uh, World A4 wasn't too much better, but the obstacles weren't as condensed and the challenge was more spread out, which helped. 
The final stretch to Bowser always gives me anxiety attacks, wondering if this will be my best run. Cut short. <laughs> Beating this game has finally put to rest a long-standing dream of mine to go back to the very first game I've ever played in my life and ace it. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for giving me my love of video games so very long ago with my first Nintendo Entertainment System. So for this challenge, I give Super Mario Bros. a 6 out of 10. I feel this is a fair score, and the harsh difficulty and frustration factor of the three levels uh, out of the entire game, they, they don't bump up this score up any higher. I feel all levels were ultimately fair and doable given the restrictions, and nothing seemed absurdly hard, although I'm questioning some parts, but it isn't really until the later Mario games that the difficulty starts diverging into Nintendo hard areas of hair pulling. Looking forward to that. Yeah. So with that, we tally up my scores to Retro Challenge Gamer 4, Video Games 1. I'm on a roll here. Woo! <laughs> Our next game playthrough is an interesting one, and is actually a special request. The Walking Dead! Yeah, I don't normally do games of this type, really. And especially not recent games. I usually go for the retro stuff. But it looks interesting enough, so I thought I'd try it. I don't really believe you can do any challenges in it, since it looks pretty straightforward. But I'll at least be doing it blind with no spoilers. So that should be fun. Until then, see you later.